let a day one go. Let me know what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you thought of the recipes. Are you food journaling? Are you tracking your calories? Were you full? Were you hungry? What did you feel? Let me know down below. Today's specials are fresh fruit with ranola, a large salad with a orange miso dressing, and enchiladas for dinner. These enchiladas are to die for. Definitely something that I've been repeating over and over lately, so let me know what you think about them. Um, as always, the intro video is down below, shopping list for today is down below, and the recipes for day two with a step-by-step, -step, the link is down below for that too, so let's get cooking. This is a really simple, easy breakfast to put together, especially if you've already made the raw nola. Um, the uh, fruits that I'm using are just ones that I had on hand. Of course, use whatever you'd like. The ranola recipe is in the snack video, so I'll link that down below if you wanna make that. And all I'm doing here is just slicing up a few different fruits in a bowl and um, just topping it with some ranola. And um, it doesn't have to be these fruits, like I said, anything that you like, um, and just make it enough that you feel satisfied. And I'm just taking a little bit of the ranola and rolling it into a few little balls. It's a lovely, sweet treat for breakfast. And not only does it look pretty, it's full of lots of vitamins and antioxidants to get you started for your day. This is a fat-free dressing, oil-free dressing, really easy to just whip up. Um, it works for a really large salad, so you can have it by yourself or split it with uh, somebody if you'd like. And it is a really nice dressing. I've shared this dressing before on um, a live YouTube video, but this is just a step-by-step -step for you guys. Blend it up and um, once it's nice and smooth, go ahead and pour that out all over your desired greens. Um, the greens that I chose to use were uh, red leaf lettuce, I used some charred spinach and kale, um, I used cucumber, a little bit of tomato, jalapenos, some cilantro, cilantro is really good with this dressing by the way, and some homemade sauerkraut, um, and then I'm just taking the dressing and pouring it on there. This is a really satisfying salad, um, but if you feel like you're not having enough food, you can always add a little bit of something extra, like um, some, some whole grains or something like that. For dinner, these enchiladas are so, so amazing. You're gonna first preheat the oven to 400 degrees and then get to peeling and cubing um, one medium sweet potato. It's gonna look just like this when you're ready. Um, go ahead and put those on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. During this time that they are baking, you're gonna make your red sauce. So you need three cloves of garlic for that. Um, a cup of vegetable broth, use half of that now just to get it going um, and sauteing. And you're gonna use half in a little bit. Um, but this just makes the use of oil obsolete, which is awesome. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and add the remaining half cup of vegetable broth. I'm gonna use a can of tomato paste in there. This is all going on a low simmer. Just mix it until it's um, nice and, and uh, mixed in together. <laughs> a drop of hot sauce if you want. Salt and pepper to taste and you're gonna add a tablespoon of maple syrup. And go ahead and add a little bit of extra water if you need, if it feels like a little bit too thick. Now we're just gonna use a can of black beans, slightly drained, and some cumin, a little bit of salt and pepper to taste in there. And this is going to be part of the filling for your enchiladas. Now this is completely up to you. I've used lettuce, tomato, cucumber, avocado, cilantro as kind of garnish. Um, I'm kind of making this into a little salad. Um, I've got some green onion in there. And if you notice, here's the queso dip from yesterday. We're gonna reuse that again. Um, this this is all garnished, so if you want, you can use those. If not, use what sounds good to you. Once the potatoes are ready, you're gonna reheat the oven to 350 degrees, and then add that sweet potato into the black beans. And you're gonna just stir those around. This is your filling for the enchiladas, and it's surprisingly simple, yet so, so tasty. Okay, in a baking pan, this is a nine by nine inch, just in case you're wondering, put a little bit of the enchilada sauce, um, the red sauce, you're just going to try and really fill the bottom. And then you're going to make your enchiladas. I'm using flour tortillas here. You can use flour or corn, whatever you decide. Um, I've done four tortillas in a nine by nine, but you can, um, if you have a bigger baking pan, you can use um, up to seven tortillas. Using the filling equally for each tortilla, um, just stuffing them in there so that they're nice and uh, cozy, like little friends. You got the seam on the bottom so they don't come undone.
Then you just wanna take the rest of the enchilada sauce and pour it over the top evenly. Then pop those into the oven and bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. Basically, you're just making everything nice and warm and crispy. They're not going to like overly cook in there um, and, and this is what they look like at the end. Now you're gonna take some of that queso dip and you're going to just kind of sparingly put a few spoonfuls on top and then you're just going to rub it around. Um, this will warm up the dip so you don't have to worry about reheating it in any way and then garnish it with whatever you'd like. So I'm using the green onions. Um, I'm using cilantro here. tomatoes, cucumber, and of course, just a touch of avocado. And this is with the final product. I'm using the lettuce on the side as a little side salad with lime, and it is so, so good. Thanks for watching day two. Um, good luck with these recipes. I hope that you enjoy them. Um, and what else? The ebook is still on sale, 50% off. If you don't have it yet, do that. And subscribe to my channel if you are liking these videos. Um, please, please, I'm so interested in uh, any thoughts that you have down below, so let's talk. See you tomorrow. Bye.